started. Um, I hear a little accent. Um, <laughs> so where are you from? And then let, let walk us through, you know, your vision initially. And how did you get to this place that you are at right now? Okay, so um, I am from Haiti, born and raised. I did not come to the U.S. until uh, I was about 13, going on 14. So um, I think now, for the most part, I've lived most of my life in the U.S.A. now. Um, Curls Dynasty, wow. Whew, the journey, <laughs> the climb, and uh, this beautiful natural hair you're seeing now, um, that was the goal, that was the vision, not only for myself, but also for all the women and um, some of the men that I serve. Uh, so like a lot of... Uh, young black girls, I had a relaxer early on, right? And um, I always say in the beginning, to be truthful, I loved it. I literally felt like I was these kids in the Just For Me commercials, you know, Just For Me. <laughs> like it was pretty, it was long, it was straight, it was shiny, it was amazing. But over time, the chemicals really did a number on my hair and my scalp. Um, because I really was the kind of person that, like, I, I needed my touch-ups every six to eight weeks. So if anyone don't, um, if you're not familiar with relaxers and touch-ups, like, it's a chemical straightening that you do to naturally texturize curly, kinky hair um, to make it straight, right? That's what and, I have, yeah. <laughs> yes. And as your hair grows, you know, every six to eight weeks, you need to smooth out the new growth so that it's straight just like the rest. So I really was doing this every six to eight weeks for years. And um, it just did not work out for me. On my last touch up, I had um, a chemical burn. Um, it was so bad that I, uh, my, you know, when your stylist panics, you know it's bad. <laughs> and this lady poured um, astrogen or something on my hair um, to kind of make it feel better. And I still sat there like a good little soldier under the hooded dryer for like two hours because my hair was long. It was terrible. Yes, it was very traumatic. Um, but after that experience where like for weeks after I was dealing with the, um, the scabs, um, my scalp peeling, flaking, and it just really, it did a number on my self-esteem. So that's when I decided that, that I would um, no longer do the chemical processing to my hair and that I would let my hair grow out. And it's in the process of doing that that I started making things at home, researching online, um, how to take care of this foreign thing growing out of my scalp because I was never used to my natural texture. I did not know how to take care of it. I did not know what she liked. Um, so yeah, so in the process of doing this, I made things at home that um, you know people around me started seeing the results on my hair. And they asked me what I'm doing, and I started sharing my recipes and making concoctions for them. And they were paying me for it. I was like, oh, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give me $10? No problem. Right. And it just kind of kept on going, and you know, the momentum just kept, kept on rolling until I said, OK, 2017, this is not going to stop. This is great. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the people that I do it for. So I decided to set up an, an official online business. Um, and here we are years later. We're in the major national retailers you mentioned and countless beauty supply stores here in the USA and abroad. 